Hey everybody, Perk Lover 18 here today with the July 2015 LEGO City Update. Quite a lot has changed in the LEGO City this month. Starting off here at the right, we have my new custom LEGO City Police Station. This creation is so new, I just finished it this week and I haven't even shown a full video or picture of it on Instagram. So you're going to have to stay tuned for a mock video of that. I'm really happy with it. As you can see, at the front there we have this little wraparound driveway for it. And here off to the side we actually have like an impound yard. Or a, just a, like a parking lot for all the different police cars. Another big change this month was the new elevated rail. I'll talk about that in a minute. But as you can see, I added this street light and this street sign. I just need to get something printed on the street sign. Besides the police cars back there, I still have the LEGO City train station. You may be wondering, if the police station's there, what happened to the corner gas building? Well, the answer is simple. I just moved the corner gas building to where the old LEGO City police station used to be. Moving on from the police station here, we have the modular area. As you can see, there's quite a lot of big changes into this area as well. I decided that the NCIS building just wasn't working out right there. So what I decided to do instead was move this building from was over there in the last city update and I actually built up the pizza place which I had in the old park. I just built it up one story and stuck it in here and honestly it looks I think really cool with amongst all the other buildings. I also did some work to the yellow building just to make it a little bit more just better more city like. So I think just for the city the Tim Hortons is the same the Lego store is the same the Grand Emporium yeah it's the same and then on the side here, there's also some differences. I built the LEGO City Bank up one story as well and put it there. And I also put the hospital there. And I honestly think these two buildings look really, really cool together. And I'm glad I decided to put them there in line with all the other LEGO modular buildings. The elevated rail was a new addition to the LEGO City this month. I just felt that the city was just looking too building-y and needed something to just make it have more... Uh, I don't know. I had, I don't even know. I just it just needed something just to make it not look so flat. I guess so. I decided to add the elevated rail. It starts here at the building there, and it just drives goes all the way down here. It doesn't go very far. It's just enough for the train to be on it and the train to be able to move. And it's actually motorized, but it's kind of hard to drive it anywhere because there's nowhere really for it to go. Another thing I did for it was I added the street sign there as well as a parking light, uh, traffic light, there we go. And I just I added some two train tracks up here just to hold the street sign and that was actually before I added the elevated rail and I just think that looks really cool. I made quite a few major changes to the park this month. Starting off with the park, here is the entranceway. I have the street sign, I have the bike path here, or bike uh, parking spot. I have a businessman getting arrested for having some drinks that are not allowed in public. Here are the main gate, and it looks like somebody's actually just abandoned their lawnmower. I have this really big old looking gumball machine. I have a really cool hot dog vendor cart there. A lady walking. And I have my NCIS building, the newly expanded version of it. I think this, it just looks so much better. If you look at the city right through this way, there you know, see the trees and the building. I just think that looks really cool. And I'm very pleased with the new location of this building. Right in front of the building I also have this really big fountain and as you can see there's like little animals or there's there's frogs on four corners and then there's like a duck just swimming there with the sidewalk completely surrounding it. Here in the middle is like this little green area. I just have lots of trees, quite a few trees actually with lots of foliage. I have two vendors here, you know, just selling some stuff, some seating area. Jeffrey the giraffe's just there. I have a lumberjack. He's like, should I cut down this tree with flowers surrounding it? And there's, you know, people walking, a little play area for kids, a magician doing a show for nobody. And that's just the way it kind of is. Here I have the bike shop and cafe. That is a set, and I think that's such a cool set. I was thinking about, it didn't work out because I didn't have the right pieces, but I was thinking about building them up each floor and putting them over here, but I just didn't have enough pieces and I really didn't want to get into ordering or buying another set because they're quite expensive. So I just didn't. I put the museum here, 
at the very back there and as you can see there's like a little press conference going on doing it at the new museum and I put the hotel the waterfront inn and suites I think that's gonna be the name I put that hotel there and I think it looks really cool another advantage to this set is I built or this mock I built it up another floor so now it's quite taller and a neat thing that I did was I changed the bottom floor of it and made it red and white and I just think that it looks really cool how it's wider on the bottom and then just goes up 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 and it's not set up properly but there is actually a pool up at the very top it's kind of hard to tell but back here there's just this open area so I decided to put all my blue base plates there and just make it like a little water area yes I know there's train tracks running through the water I know that's not possible but I just needed something to fill the gap so basically what I did was I put this rock mountain there along with some gates just so there could be a boardwalk I guess there's the little water, waterfall, 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 as well as the log cabin place home. And then that's basically all you can see. Actually, right over here, all along the building in the back there, you can't see it. But there is a beach with palm trees and monkeys and stuff like that. And there's lots of people enjoying the beach. I don't think I'll be able to... Yeah, there you can sort of see just everybody enjoying the beach. And then on top of the building, there's just the train track just continuing all the way around. I almost forgot to mention that the fire station is also there now just because there wasn't really any other good spot in the city for it so I decided I'd put it here next to the water area and as you can see I built this little like rocky area just so the water didn't get in the fire trucks and stuff like that and I also have another street sign. As you can see by watching this video, there are quite a lot of streets where the cars can drive on. You can enter and exit the city here, you can enter and exit the city there, you can drive all along here. And I'm going to do something here to let people know like you can't turn, like this is for police only. But you can ex enter the city there and then there's like a dead end road here. Something I also almost forgot to mention was I added my Dairy Queen there because there wasn't really anywhere else to put it so I put it back there. I myself am quite happy with all the progress on the LEGO City this month. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the LEGO City this month. A lot of work went into preparing for this city update just because a lot of mo new mocks uh, things were changed and modified for the city update. I hope I can do something like this every month because right now I'm so happy with the way the city looks. Thanks everybody for watching this LEGO City update. Again, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below what you think of the city this month. As well as if you have any suggestions or ideas for the city, I'm always happy to hear them. Thanks everybody, have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this BrickLover18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more BrickLover18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this BrickLover18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe button.